Hey guys, Gary Dean. It's my wife, Tony, right there. She's applying the uh, brand new 2020 Marine Series Plastic and Rubber Hydrate. You wanna show that bottle, babe? It's pretty awesome. Uh, it, it was designed, actually it was designed for the sea -Dew Spark that we're working on, believe it or not. Uh, it was designed to hydrate these things because they're all composite, all plastic. And you can see it's got sun fade and that kind of thing. In order to do a sea -Dew Spark properly, the first order of business is to use my Marine Series heavy duty all-in-one vessel cleaner, uh, which I have over on the dock over there. Uh, we cleaned it with that and basically you spray it on, wipe it in. You want to remove all the dirt and grime from the plastic prior to applying this stuff. And uh, what you want to do, and she's just following the, the hull line. We're not doing the bottoms, but we will do everything that you can see from the water, the water lining up basically. So we've got a solid coat on pretty much all of this spark. And uh, she's going over it just one more time and we're gonna let that sit while we continue to work on these two. I'm almost done with that GP1800R uh, and then I gotta start on this uh, Sea-Dew RXPX300. But as far as the spark goes, this is the, listen, we, I manufactured that stuff. We engineered it specifically to work awesome in the sun, in the salt or freshwater environment with all the friction uh, caused by the water and erosion over time. This stuff is gonna stay on there. In fact, when it gets wet after it's done, it'll bead water like you just waxed it, like a car does when you uh, first apply a good coat of protection to it. Um, make sure you get all in these nooks and crannies in here. Um, so anyway, you put a you put a relatively heavy coat on first. You let that sit for about 10 minutes after you're done with the whole ski. Then you'll go around and you'll put another uh, lighter coat on and you want to keep working it until you see hot see when it sits on there and you can see all those high spots. We're gonna wipe those down, knock them down and make it even. But those high spots means that the product, which has a penetrant in it to soak into the plastic, uh, all the way to the back of it, and then you build it out. And so when it's not penetrating anymore, and this means that the plastic is pro properly hydrated when you see all these high spots. So that isn't going to need more coats, um, but you wanna let that soak in for a little bit uh, 10, 15 minutes, let it sit in the sun. Then you'll go back over it and just give it, give it a quick wipe with a towel. And you'll see that when you wipe it, it goes back to very nice and flat. It gives you back that natural texture of the plastic without the uh, high spots of the, the product. So it evens itself out uh, when you wipe it. But the point of this is to soak into the plastic. For 2020, this product is new because we added our ceramic acrylics technology. It was only acrylic before. So now it has our pro hybrid technology like our coatings do. And this would be considered a coating for your plastic. Um, it does work very well on trim on regular vehicles and that kind of thing too. Uh, but this particular product was designed for the marine environment to be around all the friction and erosion caused by constant contact with water. So check it out, detailjuice.com. That is by far the best way to care for your spark. No other products are needed besides the Marine Series heavy duty all-in-one vessel cleaner to clean the plastic and then you'll use the plastic and rubber hydrate to uh, coat it and you are good to go. So once we're finished with this, I'll give you a walk around of the Sea Dew Spark. But this is a 2014, guys. Uh, before she started, it was very, very hazy. You can imagine these things fade out really, really, really bad and very fast. Uh, and that's just the sun taking out all the moisture from the plastic, so we have to rehydrate it. And uh, there is a, a, a darker blue color, which does definitely tint it a little bit. Um, but that's where we're at, guys.
I'm gonna keep working on the other skis and we'll get back to the Sea Dew Spark because I want I want you guys to see how fantastic this thing looks when it's all done. All right, I'm gonna shoot the rest of this Spark video. So this thing was cleaned with my Marine Series heavy duty all-in-one vessel cleaner. That will remove all the dirt and anything out of the plastic. It'll also leave a primer down to allow the rubber and plastic hydrate from my Marine Series to penetrate. Now the 2020 and moving forward, plastic and rubber hydrate has my ceramic acrylics technology. So it's not only acrylic anymore, it is far better than ever before. Um, you'll notice this spark looks deep and dark and rich like it's supposed to. It's nice and hydrated. I knocked down, we knocked down a lot of the bulk of the, um, the actual plastic and rubber hydrate coating. Um, but because it sits here in the sun, you don't want to take too much off. You just want to remove enough to where it doesn't look patchy. And so that's kind of where we're at now is it looks great. <clears throat> so we applied my Marine Series weather resistant vinyl protectant to the seat. And then, like I said, the heavy duty all-in-one vessel cleaner to clean everything, including the seat. Uh, that seat, because it's white, we could have used my mold remover from the Marine Series, but we didn't need to. It, it looks amazing, and so does the uh, handlebars. So, the combo of the heavy-duty all-in-one vessel cleaner and the Marine Series plastic and rubber hydrate on this thing made it look amazing. It was really faded and gross whenever it was before we started detailing it, and now it looks awesome. So you can find that plastic and rubber hydrate as well as the heavy duty all-in-one vessel cleaner and the Marine Series uh, weather resistant vinyl protectant on detailjuice.com. So if you got questions for me about the products, just reach out 813-846-4406. I am Gary Dean, the owner and operator of Gary Dean Detailing and detailjuice.com. So I'm more than happy to help you with any questions that you have. So if you've got a spark and you want the best possible detail on it, yes, you can have a ceramic and acrylic coating on your spark. And that's what it would look like when it's done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.